Good day, this is your GIS News for Wednesday, February 24. Jamaica is expected to pass the 11th IMF test, a review of the country's performance for the October to December 2015 period. The IMF team pushed back its visit until March due to the impending general elections, but based on Jamaica's assessment, the targets have been met. The primary balance at the end of December was $66 billion, $5.3 billion ahead of target. The net international reserves to that $2.44 billion US dollars, $800 million US dollars more than target. In the meantime, co-chairman of the Economic Program Oversight Committee, Richard Baz, has attributed an increase in capital expenditure to a reduction of one particular IMF target. In essence, that is because the IMF reduction of the primary surplus from seven and a half to seven and a quarter has opened up some room for the expenditure, capital expenditure to um, hit the budget. So we're pleased to see that we are spending in that area. And tax revenues continue to exceed the target. At the end of December, tax revenues to that $291.7 billion, $11.7 billion ahead of target. Tax on interest was up $4.5 billion, special consumption tax $2.4 billion, general consumption tax $1.5 billion, and company tax by $1.7 billion. Customs duty, telephone call tax, and tax on dividends were, however, behind the target. Meanwhile, inflation for January was minus 0.4%. And the major contributing components to that is electricity and fuel, which was down 1.4%, and vegetables and starchy food, which was down 3.4%, and really reflects the rebound of agriculture from last year's very severe drought. Land ownership is now a reality for more Westmoreland residents. 155 residents of Hertford Morris Lane were presented with their certificates of possession last Friday under the Sugar Company of Jamaica SCJ Holdings Community Regularization Program. It delivers certificates of possession to former sugar workers and their families who have been occupying former government-owned estates for many years. The ownership of a land title is an individual's opportunity to build prosperity for himself and his family. Land not only gives you access to a permanent place of residence, but can also open doors to entrepreneurship through agriculture and other cottage industries. Friday's presentation in Hertford Morris Lane brought to 455 the number of titles awarded in that area to date. The Community Regularization Program covers the parishes of St. Catherine, Clarendon, Westmoreland, St. Thomas and Trelawney. Meanwhile, SCJ Holdings Limited has completed the process of issuing 450 certificates of possession to residents of Clifton, St. Catherine. The distribution is part of the Community Regularization Program. SCJ Chairman Donna Scott Motley says it's a way of showing appreciation for sugar workers' contribution to the economic development of the country. I am extremely proud of this initiative of the SCJH to finally know that you have security of tenure. That is every Jamaican's dream. Students at some institutions will soon be able to learn driver education due to a partnership between the Education Ministry and General Insurance. Portfolio Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites disclosed the partnership last Friday. He was speaking at the opening of a $6 million cosmetology and performing arts building at Green Pond High School in Montego Bay. I would like to see a driver education program established at Green Pond in the next academic year. In the meantime, he has praised Green Pond for creating a skills-based facility that's giving students the tools to meet demands of the labor market. What you are achieving with your adjustment of curriculum, with your playing to the aptitudes of your students is exactly consistent with the new philosophy of education in Jamaica. And finally, the National Works Agency, NWA, is carrying out a multi-million dollar drain cleaning exercise across four western parishes in support of government Zika virus intervention. NWA will be clearing potential mosquito breeding sites and cleaning critical drains in St. James, Hanover, Westmoreland and Trelawney. Community Relations Officer at the NWA's Western Region, Janelle Ricketts, says approximately $24 million has been devoted to this effort, which is far advanced. Among the drains being targeted are the Catherine Hall drains and North Gully in St. James, the Solis Lane drain and Sandy Bay Gully in Hanover, and the Petersville and George's Plain drains in Westmoreland. 
The agency is also targeting areas such as Troy and Albert Town in Trelawney. This latest effort is part of an island-wide drain cleaning program. And that's it for GIS News Today. Amanda Chisholm, Jamaica Magazine, continues right after this break.